Jimmy was talking the other day about the, the moment you guys shared uh, before before that Rams game the other day um, and how he's kind of been cognizant of that. How, how aware are you of that um, kind of in these moments and, and how much more special does it make it that you kind of get this, you know, possibly one last ride here in the postseason? Yeah, I've been uh, particularly more aware of it um, recently in the past couple of weeks just because of um, the fact that, you know, at this point, any week could be our last week. And um, I was actually, you know what, I was a little surprised that Jimmy shared that story. Um, but it, it really meant a lot to me. And I had been thinking about it all week and I didn't know when uh, was the right time to say something to him. But I, I did want to say something uh, because at the end of the day, he's been my quarterback for five years. And I just want to let him know that I appreciated him and all the, all the ups and downs that we have had. Um, he's, he's been a, such a pro and such a friend and a great teammate throughout the whole thing. So uh, I just want to let him know how much I appreciate him. And uh, it, it, did, it does make those, those moments um, even more special. Even it's funny when he hit Debo down the sideline uh, for that, that big play to put us in position to score. Um, even just like weird moments like that, I'm like, wow. I'm like, look at Jim just stepping up to the plate um, with his back's against the wall. What could be his, his last pass as a Niner and he, and he freaking delivers. Um, so I, I'm just proud to see what he's been doing. Al, Coach Hightower was uh, talking to us the other day and about how you were a consummate professional when you had to hold. But did you get any nerves when that happens? I mean, it's not like you had prepared the week before. It was you were just kind of thrown in there. Can you walk us through how that happened to you, how you found out it was going to happen? Yeah, um, I weirdly no, I, I really I genuinely did not have nerves. And I don't know if uh, I can't remember if I told you guys this story um, after the Seattle game, or if, if you might've heard it, I, I know uh, Robbie told it on the radio the other day, but um, in high school, I was, I was convinced that I would make it to the NFL as a holder. And like, that was before I understood how NFL rosters worked and that there's not just a separate roster spot for a guy that strictly holds. I, I thought I would just come in on game day and do that um, because I, I genuinely felt I was so good at it. And uh, growing up, my brother was a long snapper. So that's all we did in the backyard. Uh, he would snap and I held. And I did that middle school, high school. And uh, I was, you know, kind of the emergency guy in college. So um, it's just kind of something that I've always been prepared for. And um, each and every week, uh, I get just a couple snaps uh, after practice on Thursdays, just to, you know, stay fresh with it. But um, I mean, I found out on the sidelines, uh, tower came up to me and said, you know, Mitch might not be able to go. Are you ready to hold? And absolutely. I was, I was excited to do it. Oh God, I have about 30 questions for you after that, but anyway, <laughs> um, I, I'm going to spin it back. I remember last year around this time, you got emotional when you just thought of the possibility that you might not come back to the team. Um, how has Jimmy handled this and is it you know fans are wondering gosh would they bring him back next year and you know we can we know what the team did and trading up to number three and all that but what's it been like in in the locker room as far as that and that whole dynamic with Jimmy and Trey how have you guys managed that how have they managed it yeah. Um, and, you know, I've, I've spoken before that um, there really there has, has never been an awkwardness to it. There really hasn't been. Both of them have driven each other to um, play at such a higher level. But uh, as far as the, the personal side of it, um, you know, we I feel like we don't talk about it too much. There's been times that we've uh, dove into it a little bit, but, um, you know, we never take it really, really too far. Um, just, I think because we don't want to all get emotional because we've all been playing together for so long. And, um, you know, we all mean each other, mean so much to each other that, uh, I think maybe we've avoided the topic a little bit. Kyle, with, with that in mind this week, do you guys feel there's a looseness and a confidence? Does it feel like any other week or is there a little extra? Oomph? I, I do. I feel like there is a little bit of extra oomph this week, a little bit extra confidence. Um, you know, we, 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 when you play in such an emotional game, like we did last week and you come out on top, um, you know, you can't help but boost your confidence from that. We, we beat a really good, a really, really good Rams team. Um, and, you know, we've won seven of our last nine games and two of those losses came, you know, on the last play of the game against two pretty solid teams. Uh, so we, we feel really good about where we're at right now. And 
um, you know, to finally just punch our ticket and be in the playoffs and, you know, not have to hear about that anymore. Uh, I think maybe uh, takes a little bit off your, your shoulders in, in that sense, but at the same time, you know, kind of heightens uh, the, the stakes here and, and knowing that, all right, you know, we've been fighting all season to get here. We're here. Now we got to do something with it. Hey, Kyle, I don't know, Jimmy, uh, question. As you know, I, I think he still remains somewhat of a polarizing figure. I mean, not in the locker room, but, you know, I mean, fans. And I realize it's just about trying to win a playoff game, but is it cool to think, like, he could, I guess, change, burnish his legacy in, um, in, in some ways, uh, you know, in this playoff, uh, potential playoff run, you know, change narratives or, or whatever and the way he's viewed? Yeah. Um, you know, I've, I, I spoke even earlier this season, I think during training camp that, um, it's mutually beneficial for us, for Jimmy to play well, uh, for us and for him personally, uh, obviously, you know, this is the season we're in right now. Jimmy is our quarterback right now. And we're trying to win a Super Bowl with Jimmy. Um, and we don't know what the future holds, uh, in front of us, but him playing well, will will benefit and bode well for us and himself personally. So, um, I think, yes, uh, him, him playing well here can, uh, do a lot of good things for him. Kyle, in terms of the evolution of the run game, it seems like five years ago, you went from an offense that primarily did zone blocking to now you guys do a little bit of everything. Do you guys, do you feel you guys do more schematically than other teams? And is that part of the reason why you guys are so difficult to stop on the ground? Um, I would, so I'm going to guess yes, but it's hard for me to say, particularly because, um, you know, I'm not studying all 32 offenses, you know, I'm typically worried about, uh, other teams defenses. Uh, but I, I would just have to venture a guess that we, we probably are doing, um, a little bit more schematically just cause I know, um, just of what I've been involved with before, this is definitely the most, and we are very, um, diverse in inside zone, outside zone gap schemes, uh, pin and pulls, all those kind of things. Um, there's really nothing off the table for us. And uh, I think we've done a good job of just kind of finding um, each week, you know, what is going to be our strength against a particular defense. And um, it's nice when you have that whole menu of things you can go to, um, and, you know, you don't have just one trick uh, that you have to stick with no matter what. Last one. Kyle, Ar Arden Key was saying yesterday that from, from the time he got there in like OTAs that, he got kind of a sense from you guys that are that have been there since 2019 or even before that that there's like an unfinished business uh, to be had here. I think you guys have 25 players who are on that roster, which is probably a lot still, just being two years removed. How, how much is that something that's a driver for you? Of you know, you're not just happy to be back in the playoffs, but there is something here that needs to be accomplished with this group still. I think it's a huge driver. Um, I'll speak for myself, and I, I think it, my teammates is those 25 teammates that you spoke of. Um, you know, it's, it's cool to, when we, you know, in night, when I'm just speaking in context of somebody, I say, yeah, back in 19, when we went to the Super Bowl, you know, that's how I describe the season. Um, I can't wait to say, you know, in, in 22 or whatever, when we won the Super Bowl, you know, that has a lot better ring to it than uh, when we went to the Super Bowl. So just trying to change up that W word there from went to one. So uh, it, it definitely is a driver. It's a motivator. And, um, we do feel like we have some uh, unfinished business.